Hopefully you guys can see, um, this is Prince, and Prince is the one that I've been telling you about that my shampoo, Happy Feet and Paws, has made such a huge, huge difference. Um, Prince uh, was the first one to get a bath in my shampoo, and it, it was too heavy for his coat, so I had to change the product, and not only did I end up with one a product that is great for his coat, it's great for any coat, even uh, your these, these coats to get kind of flat so he had his first bath and with that bath Prince had fleas and the shampoo killed it instantly killed all of them instantly not one little bugger was left uh, apparently it repels as well and that's probably due to the essential oils that's in the shampoo because he never picked up fleas again I haven't seen a single one on him and this is week three with an intermittent bath because I'm going to be doing him every week. So uh, right now that we're like a week and two days behind uh, when I bathed them last week. So, oh excuse me, so, oh that coffee is so good. Mm. So what I'm here to show you is, I, you, you've seen the pictures of his skin, how it was last spring. All this was bald. Um, they had little porcupine hair sticking out and um, he had scabs on his shoulders behind his ears I don't think you could see behind his ears he had scabs down his back uh, didn't get it to show in the picture that I took before his tail but um, Prince's tail when I bathed him the first time in the shampoo was uh, let's see was bald. Okay, I don't know if you can see or appreciate what I'm talking about here, but it was bald. And then last week, when he got his second bath, there was peach fuzz. Okay, so now you see there's more hair. We're beyond peach fuzz stage, and we're at growing hair backstage, back to where it used to be. In the pictures that I showed you before, his dermatitis was all along his back. And you can still see um, debris from his dermatitis. Uh, you know, he flakes. It's kind, of, it, like I said, it's kind of a moisture base. It's not a dry dandruff kind of dermatitis. Um, there's a couple more spots right here. If his veterinarian's watching, how about a little? You know, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, you can see his dermatitis here and uh, you know the the results of, of his skin are just uh, the, the symptoms of, of whatever it is he's allergic to so uh, this it, it, it can go all the way up his shoulder which is why I'm convinced it's not just fleas it's probably the entire, or not entire, but the environment, what comes off trees, grass, stuff like that. i uh, pretty sure that it's more than just a case of fleas. Uh, he's, I haven't had him from a puppy, though so my other dogs, I don't have dogs with immune issues, but sometimes when you adopt adult dogs, you end up with uh, residual of whatever problems they had before. One, he's purebred, that's a problem. And two, uh, if they were doing annual vaccines and prevention crap, that's also a problem uh, for the immune system. He's not neutered, so we don't have that problem to deal with uh, where neutering uh, can cause health issues for dogs, uh, including their, with their immune system. He is uh, completely blind, and if he's the age... If he was if he was two years old when I got him like they said he was, then he's only five going on six now. So it's not like he's not old, but he's 100% blind and he, his eyes cake up, uh, which is another sign of allergy. So I give him some relief with eye drops for that. So he's going to get his bath today. He didn't get a bath when I said he was. I'm chronicling this for you because what I say about my shampoo is absolutely true and it's not because I made it it's because it's all natural it's because it doesn't have the chemicals in it that so many products on the market have 
And uh, I'm amazed by how this holistic, herbal, raw, natural shampoo is affecting him in such a positive way. Because uh, all of the diatomaceous earth that I've been using, all of the vinegar and water spray <laughs> that I've been using, all of that stuff and more. You have no idea what I have tried over these three years. I even bought raw amber to make him a, a, a necklace because people were saying they got great results with raw amber. And the reason why I go through all of this is because when you have a dog that's allergic to fleas specifically, you, you there's no products out there that work because Advantage and Frontline, sorry, they're not working. But there's no products out there that work without the flea biting the dog that I have seen, that I know about. Okay, if you know about something, let me know. Don't say advantage of frontline, because that's not it. So, if a dog is allergic to fleas and, have, and, and, and they've got a pill, which I would never give them, or uh, chemical heavy flea sprays, or a, a Soresto collar, or any of that crap. If the dog is allergic to fleas and the only way for that crap to work is to get bitten by the flea, hello, your dog is still allergic. Whether you're fighting fleas or not, whether the flea died or not, the flea bites and zoom, here you go. Ball dog madness. So, I have the cure for my prince and I'm so happy. I'm so happy. He's finally, and we're going to let all of this grow in. Wait till you see what he looks like when he's all fluffed out. That story looks like a dad on teddy bear. And he is so happy and proud, but he can't stand this, all of this fuss. He's like, I would rather not. And as blind as he is, he will not walk off this table. He like, he, he, he's kind of, he's kind of really gotten used to it. But he's going to come to work with me from now on because blind dogs don't tend to get a whole lot of attention when you have other dogs. The other dogs are always knocking them out the way or they'd rather just be in a, in a kennel kind of fortress area uh, and not be around the maddening crowd. So this way, me and Prince get to have one-on-one. -on -one. Because I love me some Prince and he loves him some grown less Or mommy, as he calls me. Alright guys. So, I will chronicle more. This is just for now, and you will see. First of all, if you haven't, if you have looked at the pictures of him last year, then you already know what I'm talking about. And, uh, oh, uh oh, is that a flea or dermatitis? I think it's dermatitis. Let me see if it has legs. Nope, it broke up. Dermatitis. Okay, so that's another thing about the shampoo, and I think it's credited to the the uh, raw apple cider vinegar. Is uh, it lists all of this stuff, all this de, uh, dermatitis debris, including dandruff. Oh my God, that little Yorkie! That, <laughs> he had more dandruff than he had hair, uh, and it lifts it. So I don't want you to take my word for it, but I do want you to buy my shampoo. And that's why I'm offering it in the two ounce size as a trial for you to check it out for yourself. Um, the people that are buying it are have not been disappointed at all. The stuff is awesome. And I'm proud to be the person that made it. Thank you. I'll see you in a bit. Bye.